Okay, good afternoon, everybody. It's lovely to see such a great turnout here today. I hope you're all keeping safe and well in this strange new world of ours. Um, I make it approximately 3 p.m., so I'm going to begin. So welcome all to our third SAM Learning Educational Webinar of the 2021 academic year. And this one, it promises to be one of our best ones yet. My name is Stephanie King and I hold the role of Commercial Director here at SAM Learning. And I'm joined by our Regional Director, Craig Hendelman, who time permitting will be taking questions from you all at the end of today's webinar. We do encourage your participation in our webinars. So if you would like to ask a question, please do use the questions functionality on the right hand side of your screen and um, through the control panel. And I've also provided you some reading material in the handout section there too. So do feel free to download your brochure and you'll also notice that there are some impact reports there as well that are especially relevant to the content of this particular webinar. So do ensure you take a copy of those too. Okay, so if everybody is sat down and comfortable, we shall now begin. Working closely together, myself, Craig, and the other directors here at SAM Learning often dis discuss the circumstances of education today. And these conversations play a massive part in how we choose to develop the content and delivery of that content to our, our family of user schools. And it was in one of those conversations that we were discussing the power of positive thought and how in a world that now more than ever needs more positivity, we can embrace our position as one of the leading providers of educational technology in the UK to do more to help people to succeed in a world that sometimes feels like it is geared up to do exactly the opposite. Craig mentioned that one of his favorite quotes was from an American writer and editor Dorothea Brand, who said, guarantee success, act as if it were impossible to fail. And we all took a collective moment and we looked at each other and knew that we were on to something. You see, since we started to host these webinars, we've always made sure of one consistent, that by the end of each webinar, our attendees learned something new about SAM learning, but also knew that above and beyond anything else, that we could tell you about our system, that it is genuinely and independently proven to increase student attainment. It is a clear cut, evidentially backed statement, and we as a company with that evidence in our holsters are in a position to guarantee learner progression as a failure to do, were, do so, sorry, were impossible. But as powerful as it is, in today's schools when budgets are restricted and money difficult to come by, we absolutely understand that there would be doubts for a system that promises to increase attainment as GCSE. What guarantees can be made other than if you don't see the promised progression, then you are free to not renew your subscription in 12 months time? Well, and this is where we as a company doubt now differentiate ourselves from other edtech providers in the UK because for us, this is now no longer good enough. And we are going to do something unheard of, something big. Simply put, we are going to guarantee that SAM Learning will, over the next 12 months, play a part in the progression of your student attainment. And if you don't see progression, then we are going to refund every single penny that you paid us directly back into your school or trust's bank account, no ifs, no buts, and no arguments. It is a bold statement and an even bolder business move, but we can offer this to schools and trusts because we have the independent evidence behind us to support it. And the word independent is what is important here. We have not and will not commission a report that is controlled by us and displayed to make us look good. In fact, we have been the subject of independent reports that span all the way back to 2002 and more recently, in 2020, a report commissioned by the Education Endowment Fund that analysed 300,000 students in 250 schools over the last nine years showed that even 18 years since the first time that we were independently proven, SAM Learning are still 
making waves when it comes to student progressing. Now, before I go into more detail as to exactly how we can guarantee learner progression in your school, I wanted to delve just a little deeper into the impact that SAM learning has been proven to have in any school. Both the Education Endowment Fund report and the Fisher Family Trust reports show that when a student logs onto SAM learning for 10 hours throughout the course of their GCSE year, they receive one GCSE grade better in two subjects, an equivalent progress gain of plus 0.2. But where the impact of SAM learning becomes even more impressive is when we focus specifically on the impact it has on your disadvantaged students, who see on average with the same level of usage, one GCSE grade better in 3.5 subjects. That's an equivalent progress A gain of plus 0.35, which is, I'm sure you'll agree, is pretty impressive. And while as educators, we are always looking to increase student progression, now more than ever, the attainment and social mobility gaps are as large as we have ever seen them. And when looking for ways to close the gap, the very same EEF report that shows the impact some learning will have on student progression across the board also touches on four points to help schools narrow and eventually close those gaps. And while we have touched on those points in more detail in a previous webinar, it certainly is of no harm to quickly recap that as a school or trust looking to effectively close the gap, you should be looking at the following. An evidence-informed approach. And only using systems and strategies that have infallible evidence behind them to support their efficacy. Effective pupil assessment and feedback. A system in place that will quickly and easily identify gaps in knowledge across the board through student assessment that can inform and validate teacher judgments and encourage improvement both by teacher direction but also by independent learning. Professional development and the effective use of technology. Continuously training and supporting staff to not only make the most out of the technical technological resources in your school, but to also empower them to find new and better ways of working to deliver outstanding outcomes. And lastly, extending school time. Not necessarily just by increasing the length of time students are in school grounds, but also by increasing the digital reach of your teaching toolkit so that even at home, targeted use of before and after school programmes are more accessible to those that need them the most. And the great thing here is that SAM learning above and beyond the guarantee and learner progression will support every single one of these strategies. And the evidence we explored earlier to supply you with a fantastic reporting suite that clearly shows which topics are secure in their understanding or not, but also clearly shows progression and allocating each school or trust a dedicated school success manager to provide unlimited support and training to encourage the effective use of technology at no extra cost. So hopefully by this point in time, you're thinking, great, so let me get this straight. SAM Learning will guarantee learner progression over the course of 12 months. And if we don't see progress, I'll get all of my money back. And that is spot on. There are no ifs, no buts, and no credit notes and no captures here. It's as simple as that. The only thing that we do ask is as a school, you actually use the system, which means three things in principle. Your learners complete an average of at least 10 task hours on some learning across the academic year, including your disadvantaged learners, which should be 75% higher than the average use of non-disadvantaged learners. At least half of your teaching staff and middle leaders actively use SAM Learning to set five or more learning tasks and intervention groups as recommended by your school success manager. And you engage with training and support provided by your school success manager, complete your 90 day launch program and subsequent termly progress meetings. And that's it. We will simply compare your 2021 GCSE results to your 2019 GCSE results and the standard overall progress improvement measures. Should there be no improvement in GCSE results and progress, 
and the school made effective use of the SAM Learning Guarantee Package, SAM Learning will provide you with a full refund via BAX transfer to the school or trust's bank account of the price you paid. Now, we are aware that not everyone will know what SAM Learning is, what it does and how it works. And for those of you that would like an online demonstration specific to your school, that is absolutely an option available to you. Simply get in touch via the questions box here on this webinar, or alternatively, I will be leaving contact details for you all at the end of today's presentation. However, in a nutshell, SAM Learning is one of the UK's leading and most widely used systems to assess, review, and monitor student comprehension for all key stages, all subjects, and all exam boards. Our library of literally hundreds of thousands of exam board map questions are all either automatically marked by the system or self-marked by the student to promote critical self-evaluation. You can even create your own content-rich activities, embedding YouTube videos, podcasts, and pictures to make SAM learning activities that are as unique as your students are. Our three-way intervention model also allows you to quickly and effectively target work to either whole classes, differentiation groups, and groups identified by your, you as leaders or individual students so that you can be certain that each student's need and learning style is being catered for with tasks set at their ability level. And as shown earlier, the system automatically tracks and analyzes all work completed by students, whether that was a task or homework set by teachers or a task completed independently to clearly show gaps in knowledge in a subject. But also the mark progression of that student on a detail level, all the while offering each student a gamified, interactive and engaging interface for them to compete on leaderboards, explore interactive worlds and challenge their friends and gear up their own unique avatars with exclusive outfits. And SAM learning is used fantastically well by a number of schools all around the world. And we're always overwhelmed at the response of teachers that reply to our call to arms in asking who would like to speak about their own experiences of SAM learning on our webinars. And today is my absolute pleasure to welcome Nick, who was head of e-learning at Wood Green School who after using SAM learning for a number of years has seen firsthand the impact it can have on a student attainment. So welcome Nick. For the benefit of all the attendees here today, could you please just give us a little bit of a geographic, demographic and background overview about your school? Okay, certainly. Um, Wood Green Academy is up in the West Midlands in a town called uh, Wensbury. Um, it lies within the Sandwell Local Education Authority. Um, in terms of our demographic, we're an 11 to 18 mixed uh, non-selective secondary uh, with just under 1,500 students uh, across the school and six form in terms of our total role. Um, some of our families in the area do struggle. We have 20% of our students are entitled to free school meals. And when we look at uh, criteria for pupil premium, we currently have about 31% just under that, I think, who qualify for pupil premium. Um, we also have a significant number of students, um, just under 460, who identify their first language to be other than English. So hopefully that gives you a, a bit of an idea of the context for which we're teaching in here at Wood Green. Thanks, Nick. And could you just um, give us an introduction as to what were your initial reasons for buying SAM Learning? Um, so this was in the context of when schools uh, or policy for schools was to introduce a VLE, virtual learning environment. And Wood Green Academy selected SAM Learning as a, as a multiple learning point. So we had a VLE, but we also wanted um, some pre-made content which obviously that's what some learning offers so having a, a wide range of resources which we could easily map across uh, by year group key stage subjects and exam uh, specification having all that pre-populated content and structured that way uh, was definitely the first attraction to some learning 
In your school engagement with SAM learning has grown, particularly over the last few years. What is it about SAM learning that you feel has contributed to such great engagement with your staff and students? Um, in the last few years, we've definitely made better use uh, across the whole staff of the fact that the feedback and the relevant assessment for learner data that comes out of the system it is very, very useful and that there's a kind of consistent and reliable set of resources for curriculum areas to use um, with the students um, to make sure we're getting that feedback. So several curriculum areas, the, the humanities have made a really good job, for example, of embedding the activities within their schemes of learning. So acting as either blended learning or flipped learning students at home are doing tasks in some learning and staff are seeing their performance before they come into the next lesson so that they can, uh, they can adapt what they're going to be delivering, um, as well as having a record of data and performance and improvement over time as well. Um, in particular, um, we've had a big focus on the need to improve information retention. Obviously, with um, new specifications having a specific knowledge base, uh, and so some learning has fed into that wider strategy. So again, the, the pickup of our usage in the last few years has chimes in with that. Um, and in addition to that, we've also found it particularly useful when looking at student performance data, when we're looking at intervention groups of specific groups of uh, learners. So for example, we've done a lot of work in the last three years with um, focusing on pupil premium crossing over with core subjects and making sure we've got that catch up. So when we're looking at our success rate with um, students achieving grades in both English and math, some learning's been a good point to, um, to add into the intervention programmes we've got in place there. Um, and obviously the ability for students to complete work remotely um, has been particularly um, impactful and for students to be able to monitor their own performance and for that data to be live for both the class teacher or whoever's running an intervention group so that the, the subsequent conversations with students, the feedback and then the planning for any further intervention can bounce off the back of what Sam Warning's telling us alongside with the other strategies that we use uh, within the school. Um, in terms of learner engagement, um, especially key stage three, definitely engaged by the, the kind of game elements, if you will, within the platform. Um, so we run a lot of competitions between form groups and an in-house competition, and the students love the ability to have their form group as a winner and see their runner-up or their progress between from month to month, and also the ability to challenge their peers uh, within the uh, platform as well. Um, and they do enjoy the, the milestone elements where they can unlock um, content for their avatars as well. So that's definitely been something that, especially in our key stage three, has, has continued to be popular over time. Um, I've already mentioned our inter-house competition. Uh, one of the reasons that is engaging that we've made sure that, that feeds into the overall schoolhouse competition rather than it being a standalone. So that's definitely had an engagement um, through that pastoral side of things, which is a a strong element of what we have here at Wood, uh, Wood Green Academy. Um, and what we found is, is that when we go back to the idea of improving knowledge retention through review and then going back to task, I think that students have been motivated to do, partly because of the point system, but their understanding that their knowledge and retention of knowledge will improve and they, the system helps them identify what they need to learn and they can go back and improve their scores and have that as confirmation that they have learned stuff and that knowledge is sticking over time. Thank you. And in 2019, you raised the progress of learners significantly by more than plus 0.2 for every learner. What measures did you take and how did you use Sam Learning to assist you in this significant improvement? Well, I think that links back to what I previously mentioned to a degree um, and the awareness for the need to ensure that students have a good retention of knowledge so we have what we call our making it stick strategy um, and that's multi-pronged and some learning is definitely part of that because as i've already alluded to it has a focus on rehearsal and recall of knowledge um, so obviously with 
as a whole school like some revision strategies you could learn retention and where some learning is assisted in that is that it's got the relevant content for most of our subject areas and the fact that the students can either access that independently uh, and that we can track that and reward that and the students can see their own progression and they can see that the information and knowledge is, is sticking um, and also that whether it's a, a whole department across a whole cohort or whether it's an individual class teacher can set um, knowledge retention factors best, what a cohort or class might know, and then to act on that with the data that it provides um, has been really useful. So it's the, the combination of assessment feedback both to the learner and to the teacher. Um, and what we've also noted is are more, let's say, passive students when it comes to revision. So the ones are more likely to open a book and just have a scan through, which a lot of research shows is not the best way to revise. Some learning as a platform has taken those kind of, kinds of learners and made them more active in the way they participate with that relearning process. Fantastic. And to do what you announced our SAM Learning Guarantee for maths and schools that guarantees learner progress at GCSE for their money back. What would be your advice of use if they had uncertainties of whether they should use SAM Learning or not? Well, yeah, it was um, definitely news to my ears as well that there's a guarantee. So this is certainly something that we'll be monitoring closely at our end. Um, because we're all aware as uh, in schools, if we're investing in something, we definitely need that to have an impact and, and to have that evidence. And in terms of... Um, what we found and the advice i'd give to um to kind of other schools are thinking about the platform that our own data analysis shows that there is definitely a correlation between our students who have really good progression and how much they're using and learning now it is a correlation so obviously there will be other factors at play but that's been consistent over the last three years as we've done our own monitoring of the impact of the of the platform um and for us, that is a, an undeniable link that the learners who are using, who are doing the 10 hours plus a year, um, their progress is better than other learners. Um, so I definitely recommend that it's trial. Um, and as part of that, that anyone wanting to use it straight away, look at the ability to have that top down data analysis that the platform provides. So I can go in and look at it from the whole year group or a head of department in terms of curriculum can look at their particular area or drill down to the finer detail of how individuals are doing uh, and for me that's definitely continues to be a strength against some of your competitors because we do keep our toe in the water and see what's available on the market and there are a lot of platforms out there but that that granular data that we're getting back we found really really helpful and lastly 2020 has been a strange year for education do you feel that SAM Learning contributed to making life easier during lockdown? And how do you plan on using SAM Learning for your catch-up strategy? And should your school be affected by local lockdowns in the coming weeks and months? Well, um, yes, strange would certainly be an understatement for everything that we've been through. Um, during the, the lockdown, our main focus at Woodgreen Academy was getting resources to learners. So we've had a range of digital methods of doing that to support home learning uh, and some learning definitely provided a point of engagement and feedback in terms of online assessment um, for some back and forth areas, which did make life easier and allowed subsequent setting of work for those students um, more helpful and more confident what they were doing in terms of where their knowledge gaps were. Um, in terms of our catch up strategy, we've um, begun this month with focus on key stage three. Um, earlier I mentioned that um, we've run competitions. Normally we look at that on a monthly basis. Um, we're, we're looking at it at a fortnightly cycle now so that um, we've got a handle on how students are doing. And with year seven and eight initially, we are advising the students which specific tests to go on to. So I've worked with departments to identify the gaps that they're concerned them about the most and we're pointing the students towards those tasks as well as independent tasks so that we're getting some feedback of are these actually gaps in data and so we've got some evidence for that 
as well as hopefully if there are gaps in the students knowledge that some learning is supporting those processes um, so at the moment um, the form tutors for both year seven and eight and uh, nine next week be guiding uh, students through the process of how to complete tasks well but most importantly the the need and the importance of repeating the tasks and the ability mm -hmm. of guiding them through how to they identify and look at the feedback within the system of what they're getting wrong how to then relearn that content and then go back through the system again as well and then on top of that we've also got a whole range of kind of rewards from certificates and prizes both at an individual uh, and uh, kind of a, a form and scoop year group level and that's not just based on the school that students achieve but we look at the data to see who's making the most progress within the system as well so all learners at all abilities have got a chance to succeed and, and be rewarded for that so at the moment that's a voluntary process for students in terms of their engagement which has been a success for us in the past as well as some staff setting content for work uh, alongside the curriculum as well fantastic um well thank you very much for that nick um, and for anyone that would like to get in touch with nick or a user school close to yours please do let us know and we would be all happy to put you in touch with them. Now, looking at time, it looks like we're coming to the end of today's webinar and I can see that there are a number of questions and demonstration requests um, that are coming in. So over to you, Craig. Yeah, thank you, Steph. And thank you everyone for not only joining us here today, but for taking the time to ask some really good questions. So I'll try to keep an eye on time. I won't be able to answer all of them. Um, but again, if I don't get the opportunity to answer your questions here today, then either myself or Steph will be in touch soon after today's webinar. Okay, so scrolling through the questions in between demonstration requests, I'm gonna pick them at random. So first question, ah, here's a good one. John has asked, is this offer of a guarantee only available to schools? I'm the CEO of a trust of six secondary schools. Great question, John. Uh, the answer is no, absolutely not. Mats are just as welcome to sign up all of their schools under our guarantee package in the exact same way that schools can sign themselves up independently. We could even go one step further and sign up just the schools in your trust that have a progress eight score of less than zero, as obviously those are the schools that will be in the greatest need of a system such as SAM Learning. Okay, another question here from Sue. Now, Sue said, we used to use SAM Learning around 10 years ago and have been using a selection of different systems since then. It looks highly likely that we'll be coming back to SAM Learning after a prolonged period of time. Is the setup as complicated as it used to be? Um, I remember the pains of generating SIMS data for you to upload. Yep, Sue, thank you for your question. Quite right, I remember those days well. Uh, luckily though, as technology's moved on, so did we. And we now arrange for your data to be synced with SAM Learning automatically every 24 hours through Group Call Exporter, and that's at no extra cost to your school. So as and when you're ready, Sue, we can easily have you on and running at around the 48 hour mark. Thank you very much, Sue, and I'm looking forward to welcoming you back to the SAM Learning family of schools. OK, looking at time, let's do one question before handing back to Steph. And here's a juicy one that I saw come through earlier. I'm in the process of convincing my SLT to sign up to SAM Learning as part of the National Catch-Up Program. Having used SAM Learning before in my last school, I know that it's not just an assessment system, but a learning system too. What would you suggest I show them to prove this? Well, Debbie, that's a brilliant question. And I'm, just, I'm really surprised that this question hasn't been asked at an earlier webinar, to be honest. It's a special mention to you for finally ending that streak. Um, but speaking to and I guess meeting with different staff members at school pretty much every day now, I love it when there's just one person in particular, because there is always one who will ask the question, why is it called SAM Learning? If all you're doing is assessing, where does the learning come from? And to every one of their credit, it's a great question. I mean, after all, we spend the better part of 25 years here at SAM Learning providing schools with resources, which are mostly used for assessment and independent learning and revision. However, the real science of the methodology that's used by SAM Learning is what we call active learning, where the style of content we provide prompts each student to deeply engage with the question being asked, with limits in place to prevent their progression onto the next question until they get the previous question correct. So even though they won't get a mark for it, if not onto the first time, um, and that's just the first point there. The second point is that there are 11 different activity styles now on SAM Learning. 
most of which will have a teaching element to them, explaining in detail how to work out the answer to a question should they find difficulty in doing so. We even go one step further than that, and we actually have activities called real world, which are going to teach that topic using real world scenarios, which I know students find really, really helpful. Uh, next, Debbie, it's also important to know that SAM Learning also has the functionality to deliver deep and detailed lessons, either through video content through YouTube or through audio content such as podcasts, and have that content embedded directly into each question. So that should you wish to use SAM Learning to deliver lessons through rich media, you can then utilize the very same active learning style that's been proven to raise attainment to assess how well the content and the lesson is understood and how secure that knowledge is. And lastly, I want to point out one very important thing, Debbie, and that's that SAM Learning is not here to replace teaching. We're simply here to enhance it by giving your students access to content that's automatically marked. Your teachers are going to have much more time than they would have done to teach and provide effective feedback. So if anything, Debbie, I would ask your SLT team one question in principle, and that's do you feel the teaching staff could do significantly more to improve student outcomes if simply given the time to do so? And if the answer to that question is yes, then the purchase of SAM Learning becomes almost a no-brainer, especially if paired with a guarantee of learner progress or your money back. So I'll send you over my contact details after this webinar, Debbie. So do let me know how we can support you in your quest to get SAM Learning in place at your school. OK, yep, looking at time, that's all from me today. Uh, but if mentioned, if I didn't get the chance to answer your question live, I'll keep scrolling after the webinar ends and I'll get in touch with you soon after. Thanks, Steph. Back to you. Thanks, Craig. And that, I believe, brings us to the end of yet another SAM Learning webinar. But before you leave us today, I'm pleased to say that we are bringing back our hugely successful school referral scheme. So for any school that refers another secondary to us who go on to buy SAM Learning, we will also send you a £200 Amazon voucher for each school that buys a subscription. I also want to direct you to the handout section again on your control panel. So in there, I've put in copies of the reports discussed today, as well as the SAM Learning brochure and introductory video, should you wish to save those. Otherwise, from Craig and myself, we wish you all the very best, and we look forward to speaking to you all again soon. Goodbye for now. <laughs>